Hello, 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 and happy Monday to all of my amazing royal Leos, gods, and goddesses. I am talking to each and every one of you all. Hopefully you had a great weekend. Yes, I know you did because that's the intention you set. Yes, so I hope that you set your intentions when you woke up this morning, wherever you are. Yes, I hope you set your intentions to have a great day. Yes, that is the power that you have as gods and goddesses. Let's get right into your reading. We are 11 days away from... The next new moon yes 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 and friday is the first quarter moon yes so things are still being exposed and revealed within you and around you and so hopefully you all are staying positive i know you are let's get into your reading most god most high god in the universe please give me a special reading for my amazing leos as it relates to every area of their lives specifically in areas of power and intellect Money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. I am talking to my vivacious, honest, loyal, kind and protective natural leaders who are also very humorous, cheerful, warm-hearted, generous, passionate, creative. Yes, very caring. I hope that you all are professing that you all are living a great life because I know that you are. Yes, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you, Leos. Yes, if you're interested in a personal reading, you know how to contact me by now. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So you can contact me via my website at queenamura.com. My calendar is there with pricing and everything you need to know. Oh, we are moving towards legacy wealth. Cut chang That's why I really need y'all to stay focused. Like really, really stay focused, right? All right, so let me see. Here we have the Ten of Wands. Mm -hmm. We have the Page of Wands. We also have the Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm. We have the Seven of Wands. So there's a lot of fire in your cards. We have the Eight of Wands. We know what the, the number eight means by now, right? Money exchange number, right? And we also have the Ten of Pentacles, right? So listen, this is where I really want you all to stay focused. We have eight major moon phases, right? Eight major moon phases. By now, you all know that we all are all born into a world of natural cycles, and so this is a this is a time where you want to remember the power that you hold, okay? So this we're moving towards this last quarter moon, it's going to look like a half of a moon, right? It, that's what it's going to look like. Um, but this is the time where you want to gather feedback and decide what you want to let go in your life, Leo. Okay, this is where you want to gather your feedback. So as things continue to move towards looking like a half of a moon, it's the last quarter moon, right? The first quarter moon and the last quarter moon both look like half moons, right? But this is what I see you moving more towards. I see a lot of you all moving on from some situations, right? Because you're a fixed sign, and so you're not going to become fixated on whatever it is you were fixated on in the past. This is part of your, your evolution. This is part of your growth, right? So I see a lot of wisdom and knowledge. So on the surface, this looks like a lot of baggage, right? You're not bitter. You're not angry or frustrated. You're just moving on, right? You are actually better that you have been enlightened. See? Okay. See, you've been enlightened along various points in your life. So now you're moving on with this. I see a lot of you all being booked and busy in your business. I see, um, I see a lot of things moving rather quickly for you because you're starting to remember exactly how powerful you are, Leos, right? Your ruling planet is the sun, which never goes retrograde and even illuminates the moon. So where you are right now is where you are positioning yourselves is like, you know what? I know that I have healing energy. You know, I know that I am positive. I know that I care deeply for people. I know that I'm a giver. I'm talking to both men and women, Leos. I know that I'm cheerful. I know that I'm humorous and all those other things, right? But I also know what energies um, appreciate my healing and which energies are just not ready, right? And that's okay that they're not ready. So you got to remove your physical body from that that energy, that space, right? Whatever that energy is, it could be a person, place, a thing. We're talking about energies, right? So this is where you're remembering exactly how powerful you are and who you are. Yes, I love it, love it, love it. And listen, a lot of you all have been rejuvenated. Now listen, feeling like a feeling like a teenager again. I see a lot of you all spending more time recharging, being in a receiving mode because you all are givers by default. Your energy is directed outward. I'm talking to all the O's. But now you're sitting back in receiving mode, receiving, recharging from the sun, from all the elements. People don't realize how powerful the elements are until you actually go outside. And that's why so many people like taking nature walks, being out, 
grounding, you know, the, the earth, the air, the sun, and in some places water, right? Yeah, so I see a lot of things moving very, very quickly for you all. I see that you all are preserving your gigantic heart that you have. I love it, love it, love it. So continue doing that loving heart and loving deed. But again, I can't reiterate this enough because this, this we're moving towards this half of moon. Um, a lot of people, a lot of things are still being exposed. A lot of people are still pretty energized. A lot of things within you are still being exposed. People are still having vivid dreams, but they're kind of dying down a little bit, right? And so everything that was in you is exposed, your accomplishments as well as your insecurities. And now it's like, okay, so what are you going to do with all of that? Now that you know, what are you going to do with it so you can get to the next level? But I do see you with your person. That's for those of you who want to be in a romantic relationship, right? This could be your, this could be a partnership or whatever, but I see you being very, very happy. This could be a man or a woman. This could be a man or a woman. This right here could be, you know, the, these are kids in the background, right? But again, nevertheless, I see you moving towards big money, your legacy wealth, right? Happy, healthy, whole, laughing, filled with glee, the whole nine yards. You all are starting to understand how this works, right? You're really understanding, starting to understand how this works, right? It's one thing where you just not really, well, I'm not really sure how this, but the more and more you start to understand how these phases, these moon phases work, the more and more powerful you become, right? Yes, the more and more powerful you become. We know by now, like I said, we are 11 days away from the next new moon, right? We're 11 days away from the next new moon. We know by now what the number 11 means, right? So 11 is a, 11 is a portal, right? Um, go back and watch my video, any video on the number 11. So that will give you a breakdown. But 11 actually symbolizes light. You know, it symbolizes light. And you'll see it in many different forms. So we have some more cards here. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Okay, nice. Oh, somebody, lover's card. This is really, okay, so this is attached to Gemini. So this is really, really means that you're embracing all sides of yourself. The dark in you, the light in you, the seen, unseen, known, unknown, that kind of thing, right? You're embracing all sides, speaking of the number 11, right? Yes, you you have awakened to all sides of yourselves and you are embracing all sides of yourself. And it's nothing like a person who is just living in their truth, right? You have no problem attracting the energies that you want. Some of the energy that you don't want are attracted to you too, but they're really attracted to you for healing. I'm seeing a lot of you all emotionally feel like you hit the jackpot. I love this. I love, love, love this spread for you, Leos, because it's been a long time coming, like really. So I hope a lot of you all are really happy. I hope you are setting your intentions every single day. Yes, and then you all are also being very protective of your energy. You're still very friendly, still very approachable, you know, still making people laugh, still very warm-hearted, still very passionate, still very creative. You're still vivacious, but you're also still radiating light, light-filled energy that's sustaining all creation on earth. Yes, that's on earth, right? And so, but you have to be careful of the energies you allow that close, like who you give that title of friend to, Leos. Y'all know this by now, right? So yes, yeah, so you got your sword in your hand. So you're not going to be sitting on the phone holding, you know, conversations about things that just don't, you know, that's low vibrational conversations. You're going to, um, as a fixed sign in the past, you would have stayed on the phone with a friend. You know, you would listen to the same story three, four, five, ten times over and over and over again about the same thing. This time, you all are like shortening it down to maybe I'll listen to the story once, twice, uh, twice or three times. After that, okay, we need to take that conversation off the, off the table because I've listened, I've offered my advice, uh, whether it's warranted or unwarranted advice. But nevertheless, this it, this is dragging me down, right? So again. Um, this is what I'm seeing for you all, the queen of swords. And this is for men and women, right? You just see things a lot clearer now. You're starting to listen to your highest self. And I'm also seeing you all balancing out your daily affairs when it comes to money. So a lot of you all are not just working regular jobs, but you are also really dusting off those business plans, dusting off those ideas for your business, and you're living in complete and total harmony. So some people who want to be in a happy, harmonious, healthy relationship, now that you know exactly what you want and you know, see, you're, and see in the past, you went on just this emotion. Like some people just went by lust, right? 
now this time you're moving by self-love, right? So you're not just operating in the carnal mind. So I see a lot of you all in your happy, healthy relationship, and both of you all are making money. The energy of money is drawn to both of you all, right? Love is drawn to both of you all. And I'm talking about love of self. And we're not talking about being conceited or arrogant or anything like that. But this is like, I really know who I am. I love myself so much. Anybody that comes into my life, they're going to have to exhibit the same thing within themselves, loving themselves, right? That means they're not going to... Um, allow their family to disrespect them. Therefore, they're not going to allow their families to disrespect me, right? That whoever the family, they're not going to, because they're not going to let their friends disrespect them. They're not going to let their friends disrespect me, right? So you all are actually going to meet your match. For those of you all who are interested in being in a romantic relationship, get ready to meet your match. That person that you like, wow, I just never thought, you know, I didn't even think that person existed. Yeah, they do. Yeah. But you had to get yourself together too, right? You had to get yourself together. You had to start defining what friends, you know, the definition of friend is. You had to start defining some, some, you know, some things. You had to balance out your own divine masculine to your divine feminine, right? They had to balance out their own divine masculine to divine feminine. And so because now you all are both balanced out, I'm telling you, it's going to make a world of difference in your friendships and everything and your relationships at work. It's just going to make a world of difference, period. Your intuition is on a thousand. Here we have... Um, intuition, right? Your intuition is really, really, um, and then this color, this color amethyst right here is also resonate with your crown chakra, even though right here you see like the brow chakra. Actually, you know, this is crown chakra because the, the eyebrows are down here. But again, all parts of you are aligned um, perfectly. So you know exactly what you want out of life. The things that you would have settled for in the past, Leo, is not what you would settle for, it, you know, where you are right now. So you may look back at just your life, Leo, and say, man, you know what? If I loved myself deeper and harder, I would never have been in some of those relationships that I was in. But this is not a time for you to beat yourself up. This is where, okay, I learned lessons now moving forward. You know what? I won't accept some of the things I would have accepted in the past. That is what I have for you, Leos. Continue winning. Continue thriving. Not just surviving, but continue thriving. Your intuition is on fire. That's what I have for you. Have a great one. Bye.